Hello Taurus, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on in the connection that you and your person are in right now. Uh, this reading is for those of you that are in a connection or have someone in mind. And then we're gonna look at how you feel about each other. What are the energies between you? As always, these readings are meant to be general. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. You can also check out your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance in your birth chart. Sometimes those re those messages can resonate more for you. So all of the playlists for each sign are lists listed in the description box, and you can just check out your other messages there. All right. For Taurus, spirits, angels, guides, what do we need to know about their connection? What does Taurus need to know, spirit? What does Taurus need to know regarding love? Feel free to flip the energies, Taurus, if they resonate more for you. All right, that feels good. All right, so let's jump into what we need to know about your current energies. The current energies between Taurus and their person spirit. What do we need to know about this connection? Okay, we have the Three of Wands reverse. We have judgment. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? Four of Wands and Two of Wands reverse. Okay, so with Three of Wands reverse and Two of Wands reverse, I'm getting like waiting, having to wait. Um, I'm also getting like waiting with um, impatience, like someone's impatient to get something started. Um, judgment and Four of Wands. I'm getting that someone is possibly been looking back, uh, having realizations about their past, learning from their mistakes, and this has led them to somewhere where there's more stability, Four of Wands. This could be somebody wanting to repair a situation that wasn't very balanced or harmonious, and now they want to, you know, have a renewal, a revival, a resurrection, and have stability again. We'll see. But there's something here definitely about time. Timing. So let's get some energies. Can we get a little bit more insight into what's going on here in the connection between Taurus and this other person? Spirit, what do we need to know? about what's going on here for oops love yourself first okay what else can you tell me about what's going on in this connection spirit between taurus and this other person what do we need to know about this connection okay can i get one more what do we need to know about this connection between Taurus and this other person okay we have burning passion and secret admirer hmm. and love yourself first interesting so I'm getting a few messages one of the messages I'm getting is that someone could be feeling a bit insecure and doesn't believe that the secret admirer is like a thing like they don't understand why somebody would be interested in them That's why love yourself first is here. So there could be somebody that's keeping tabs on you, wanting to secretly rekindle a romance, perhaps. We'll see when we clarify. Can we get some clarity, please, for Taurus? Can we get some clarity, please, for Taurus? What do we need to know? Hang on one second. What do we need to know? Okay, so let's see what all of this is about, Taurus. Why is the Three of Wands, okay. Why is the Three of Wands reverse? Why is the Three of Wands reverse? Two of Swords, okay. Hmm. Why is the Three of Wands reverse? Someone could be feeling a bit stuck undecided due to timing okay yeah so the fool is here so what i'm getting is that somebody's probably probably been impatiently waiting or waiting a little bit too long for a new beginning 
and it's because they're stuck in some way here with the two of swords okay tell me about the two of wands reverse why is the two of wands reverse four of wands again why is the two of wands reverse why is the two of wands reverse the hermit virgo energy Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is what someone's um, thinking about, daydreaming about, wanting, planning for the Hermit and the Four of Wands. So, okay. So then let's look at Judgment and the Four of Wands. What's this about? Why is Judgment here with the Four of Wands? Why is Judgment here with the Four of Wands? The Moon... Ace of Wands. This is definitely about a new beginning here. Tell me about Judgment and the Four of Wands. What do we need to know? Page of Wands. Yeah, this is definitely about someone going on a new journey. There you are, Taurus, the higher font at the bottom of the deck. So with the moon, someone might be a bit unsure, um, confused. There's a lot of unknowns, maybe a lot of things that are hidden beneath the surface. And still, I feel like someone wants a new beginning here. This could be you. This could be your person. This could be both of you. What's this Ace of Wands and Page of Wands about? What's this Ace of Wands and Page of Wands about? What's this Ace of Wands and Page of Wands about? Yeah, the Ten of Cups. Someone wants to go after what makes them happy, what inspires them their happy ending a place where they're more emotionally fulfilled um for some reason i'm not getting love for all of you tell me about the fool tell me about the fool why is the fool here king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy uh a new beginning where someone is stable secure the star and the six of cups Aquarius okay so I think that this is a situation where I'm reading for more than one group of Tauruses or Taurians um, I think some of you that are single at this time or even if you're with someone there is another person that is seeing a future with you they're picturing a new beginning with you um, there is almost with the star like um, almost like an, an ideal that they have like an, an an idealized version of you others of you i feel like you are wanting to be a king of pentacles energy to have your own new beginning where things are more stable and balanced for you maybe you want to get married maybe you want to be in a new place like move to a new place with the four of wands here where you can have a new beginning because I feel like these, one group of Taurus is, is looking at the past and they don't like what's there. So they're thinking about a new place, a new path. They don't know where it leads, but they want to take that leap, you know? So I feel like some of you are dealing with a secret admirer and others of you are wanting a new beginning for yourself. And maybe you'll meet someone there in that new cycle, but that's not exactly like, your goal is not to have a new beginning because there's someone there already. But you do want a new beginning overall. Maybe you wanna move house or be independent or be successful in a job or something like that. Tell me in the comments if that resonates for you. So let's see um, what's going on between Taurus and the person they are connecting with at this time. What do we need to know? Tell me about Taurus and the energies they're bringing to this connection spirit. Taurus, remember that you can flip the energies and reverse them if it resonates for you. What do we need to know for Taurus? What is the energy that Taurus is bringing to this connection? We have the Eight of Wands. Okay, what's the energy that Taurus is bringing to this connection? And the Page of Swords reverse. I wanna get one more for Taurus. I get one more please for Taurus. The Page of Wands reverse. Okay, Taurus. I think you're gonna to have to be making some moves here with the Eight of Wands. Maybe you are communicating with people. 
Um, if this is the person that is interested in you communicating with you, there might be a delay here. The hangman is at the bottom of the deck. So there could be a delay, a hold up here, um, whether it's with the secret admirer or whether it's you taking the first steps towards something. Okay, so tell me about the person that Taurus is, has, or might be dealing with here in the future. What do we need to know about their energies? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this other person? Five of Wands, reverse. Okay, what do we need to know about this other person? The Chariot, reverse. Cancer energy. Okay, what do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know? Two of Swords. Seven of Swords reverse the bottom of the deck. Hmm. So I feel like this person is not really moving forward either with the chariot reverse. And they're stuck with the Two of Swords. Two of Swords. So we'll have to see what the heck is going on here. And then they have the Seven of Swords reverse and the Moon reverse at the bottom of the deck. So this is something that's being revealed, someone that's being caught doing something. Um, whatever's hidden is no longer hidden. What the heck is going on? Let's clarify. Can we get some insight, please? For Taurus. And this other person what do we need to know spirit tell me about this eight of wands tell me about this eight of wands why is the eight of wands here the hangman okay tell me about the eight of wands so again i'm getting that frustration energy someone that wants to move quickly or communicate quickly but they're a hangman yeah the knight of wands so it's almost like Taurus, you might be wanting to start something and you just can't for whatever reason. There's a delay or a block here. And you're very motivated, King of Wands. Passionate, possibly. Oh, maybe this is financial, a financial block. Tell me about the Page of Swords reverse and the Page of Wands reverse. What's this with the Page of Swords reverse and the Page of Wands reverse? What do we need to know? King of Swords the truth hmm why did I get the truth king of swords is not not always just like the truth usually they're very great communicators very analytical intelligent see through the BS very perspective have a good perspective on things um, they like to communicate openly and honestly but when I put him down I thought the truth Okay, tell me about this Page of Swords reverse and the Page of Wands reverse. Why is the Page of Swords reverse and Page of Wands reverse? Justice, yes. So this is, yeah, Libra energy. Um, Taurus, I don't know what's going on here, but I feel like you have figured something out. You know the truth about something. And maybe you're realizing, some of you could be realizing what the delay and the holdup is all about. Some of you might be realizing the truth about how to make something right, how to make a decision. Maybe you're making a final decision here. Tell me about Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. What's their energy at this time? Tell me about Taurus. Inner voice. Yeah, some of you are realizing something, Taurus. Yeah, there's the sudden realization card. Exactly what I've been picking up. And then sweet dreams, fantasy dreams, imagination. Your dreams are becoming reality. Some of you are waking up to something that perhaps someone was not being truthful about. Or perhaps you weren't being honest with yourself. I think this is separate from love, but who knows? Maybe this is about a, a particular person. Tell me about the King of Swords and Justice. Tell me about the King of Swords and Justice. Strength. And then the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Leo energy. So a lot of you are leaving something behind. This could be a way of thinking. 
This could be an environment, a job, a connection. Yeah. And you possibly thought that maybe you were overthinking this with the Eight of Swords, feeling stuck. A lot of you are headed somewhere new. That's why the Fool is here. That's why the Ace of Wands is here, the Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. So a lot of you, perhaps, you are feeling a bit frustrated because you want to have a new beginning, but it hasn't happened for you yet. And this could be a new beginning in love, a new beginning in career, a new beginning, you know, somewhere else. So what's up with this person over here? This other person. Let me get their energies down. Tell me about this person that Taurus is dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this? Oh my gosh, that one just flew out. Okay. We have deep regret. What do we need to know about this other person that Taurus is has or will be dealing with? Reach out. Let me get one of these. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. What do we need to know for Taurus? What do we need to know for Taurus? What do we need to know? Okay. Imprisonment. That was reversed, but I'm just going to flip it up. And sudden wealth. Bottom of the deck, marriage. I'm very confused right now, Taurus. I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing? Tell me in the comments. <laughs> what am I missing? Let's see if Spirit gives me some illumination here. Imprisonment and sudden wealth. Well, sudden wealth is kind of like wanting to be lucky. A lucky break. Um, a lucky turnaround. This person is experiencing regrets and wanting to reach out. But maybe they're stuck because they have the two of swords and the chariot reverse what what's this two of swords about what's this two of swords about why is the two of swords here king of wands okay seven of cups why is the chariot reverse why is the chariot reverse eight of wands they're marrying you in some way they have the Eight of Wands with the Chariot Reverse. You have the Eight of Wands with the Hangman. Ten of Wands, Two of Wands, the Hierophant. There you are again, Taurus. Nine of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. So either they are mirroring you, meaning you're both going through the same thing right now, or they're thinking about you. So if take it as it resonates but I feel like some of you are making some sort of move and this person perhaps with the chariot reverse is having deep regrets and wants to maybe keep you from making this move or they're also needing to leave something in their life but they're burned burdened as well just like you are with the hangman but this person they have the five of wands reverse why is the five of wands reverse? Five of wands reverse is typically like you, don't, you want the fight to be over. Why is the five of wands reverse? Death, Scorpio energy. Why is the five of wands reverse? The nine of pentacles. So this is about being free, independent after an ending. Nine of wands. Ten of Swords. There's definitely been an ending here. I feel like I'm still missing something. Did you and this person have an ending? If you did, I feel like they're trying to prevent that. If you and this person did not have an ending together, they're needing to have an ending to be free. For their fighting over here to be over. For their burden to be set down. Maybe they need to have an ending first before they can reach out. Again, I feel like I feel trapped. Yeah, imprisonment. So this person could be trapped in a situation that they want to get out of. 
Can I get one more for this other person? I still check up on you, okay? Tell me about Taurus's energies here. What do we need to know? I'm having doubts. So you're having doubts, Taurus. And your inner voice is speaking to you. I still check up on you. So you, yeah, you're you're mirroring each other. So I feel like some of you, you're dealing with possibly a situation where you're secretly checking up on each other. This person feels trapped. You're also trying to move, make a move of some sort, or perhaps you're hoping they make a move and talk to you and make things right. Judgment is here. So it's like someone maybe wants a second chance um, to start again, to start over. You know, they're having regrets, this person. They want to reach out to you. They have the King of Wands. They have the Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands. I feel like they want to be free, but they're having an ending first is what I'm picturing here. Tell me about the Death card. What is this? Why is death here? Why is death here? Wow, the tower, Jesus. And the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So they've definitely had some sort of tower moment ending in their life or they're experiencing this right now or in the near future. This has been very hard for them and perhaps this is about being free of a situation. And with the Two of Swords, I'm getting that they were probably stuck and figure, trying to figure out a way <clears throat> to turn this chariot around. That will probably require a whole different choice being made here with the Two of Wands. So they feel trapped and want to reach out. And you're over here having doubts because perhaps you haven't heard from this person. Perhaps nothing is happening. You want things to move, but they're not moving for you. And it's probably because you're waiting on this person. So it's kind of still makes sense. The original um, groups of Torians, I guess, that I was speaking to earlier in this reading. Some of you, you want to be free. On your own. Perhaps because that's the only way you can be with this person. And the same for them they would have to meet you halfway. You would have to be free of a commitment. They would have to be free of a commitment. I feel like you're mirroring each other, whichever the, it's almost like you're both in the same boat. So either you're thinking about their situation and how it's preventing you from being together. They're thinking about your situation and how it's preventing to, to be together or something like that. And so you're secretly checking up on each other. And hoping for a change, judgment, hoping for your dreams to become reality, for you to have the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands. But they're going through an ending specifically or thinking about an ending right now. I don't see really that on your energy over here. So it could be that you're waiting on them to have their ending. Maybe they're going through a tower, it's slowing things down, something like that. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.